significant arthropod pest problem for strawberry growers here in the Plant City area is the two-spotted spider mite, a species named Tetranicus urticae. Um, they're tiny microscopic mites um, found all over the world and they feed on the foliage of strawberry plants and a number of other um, fruit and vegetable crops. And they have a notorious reputation for developing resistance to chemical miticides. And so the reason I'm here is to investigate how the management tactics employed in strawberry nursery fields can impact uh, susceptibility of mite populations once they're transplanted in Florida production fields. And so the nature of uh, strawberry production in Florida requires that um, the plants are grown in nurseries outside of the state. So in North Carolina, um, California, and as far as Canada, strawberry plants are grown by one group of producers and managed for spider mite problems. And then they're dug up, transported to Florida and managed um, by another set of, of growers here in the production fields where the actual berries are produced. And what happens is you, you can have some repeats of um, the uh, chemical applications using the same modes of action and the result is at times the development of resistance. And so what we're working on here is screening populations and we set up our leaf disc assays using bean leaves that we've grown in our greenhouses here. And at the moment, I'm evaluating the susceptibility of one of our uh, known susceptible colonies to uh, a series of miticides. So here are some mites that we've raised on bean plants. Um, and we transfer them onto our bean discs. And then we take them over to um, a room where we house a potter spray towel. And this is a unique piece of equipment because um, we can take a known concentration and quantity of a given chemical pesticide and apply it in a very uniform manner across a leaf surface um, with a very specific and precise dose. Um, and when we do that, we can uh, objectively evaluate um, a number of different chemicals in a short amount of time against um, several different uh, two-spotted spider mite populations. Um, what we hope the uh, result of this research um, leads to is um, our ability to inform growers um, very quickly on the management options that would be best suited to control the mite populations that are locally abundant here in Florida in any given uh, growing season.